In the Christian tradition, Jesus Christ is seen as the Son of God and the Savior of the world, who was sent to earth to redeem mankind of sin through his death and resurrection. There have been many attempts to establish similarities between Jesus Christ and the Son in the history of the Christian religion. One of the best known is the concept of Sol Invictus, or Invincible Son, which was promoted by the Roman Emperor Elagabalus in the 3rd century AD. As a symbol of the solar cult, the date of birth of Jesus Christ, December 25th, coincides with the winter solstice. The winter solstice was an important holiday for many ancient cultures. The winter solstice as a celestial phenomenon lasts three days, the same number of days that pass from Christ's death until his resurrection. The winter solstice was celebrated as a sign of the end of the year and the beginning of a new cycle. For ancient European peoples, the winter solstice represented the sun's lowest point in the sky in the moment it began to rise again, a symbol of hope and rebirth. It was a festival of renewal, in which the cult of nature was celebrated and sacrifices were offered to the gods. Furthermore, the winter solstice was often associated with purification and healing rites. In the Roman world, the winter solstice was celebrated as the Feast of Dies Natalis Silesi Invicti, or Christmas Day of the Invincible Sun. It was a festival in honor of the Sun God, who was seen as an important deity for life and prosperity. The Sol Invictus Festival was celebrated on December 25, and was followed by a series of festivities that lasted until January 1. Over time, these pagan holidays were absorbed into Christianity and gave rise to the celebrations of the Christian Christmas. An interesting curiosity is that Sunday, the day to go to church, contains the word sun. The twelve houses of the zodiac are twelve exactly like the apostles of Jesus. The zodiac is a division of the celestial vault into twelve sections, called houses, which are used for astrology and navigation. Each section of the zodiac is associated with a zodiac sign, such as Aries, Taurus, Gemini, etc., and each zodiac sign represents a period of approximately 30 days during which the sun appears in that particular section of the zodiac. This means that the sun passes through the 12 houses of the zodiac throughout the year, moving about 1 degree per day across the celestial vault. The celebration of the winter solstice is something that is celebrated in a great many cultures and it is no surprise that Christians have used solar elements to spread the Christian religion. Some examples are Yalda. Yalda is a Persian holiday which celebrates the winter solstice. It has ancient origins and is celebrated on the last day of the Persian month of Azar. According to tradition, Yalda represents the victory of light over darkness and the birthday of the sun god Mitra. During the festival, families get together and eat special foods such as nuts and pomegranates, while some choose to stay up all night to welcome the new day's sunshine. Eating pomegranates during Yalda is said to bring prosperity and longevity, and staying up until dawn is said to bring good luck for the year ahead. Also, stories are told and poetry is recited during Yalda, and Persian culture and tradition is celebrated. Inti Rami is a winter solstice celebration that takes place in Peru. Although the festival falls in June, for Peruvians it represents the winter solstice and is celebrated in honor of the sun god. Before the arrival of the Spanish conquerors, the Incas celebrated Inti Rami with festivals and sacrifices, which could include both animals and children. The Spaniards banned this festival, but it was revived in the 20th century, even if the sacrifices were replaced with fictions. Today, Inti Rami is still celebrated in Peru and represents an important moment of connection with Inca history and culture. Soil is a holiday celebrated by the Hopi Indians of Arizona to mark the winter solstice. During the festival, ceremonies and rituals of purification and dance are performed, and sometimes gifts are exchanged. Also, the Hopi welcome the Kachinas, protective spirits of the mountains, during the solstice. Prayer sticks are made and used for asking for blessings and for other spiritual rituals. Soil is a very important holiday for the Hopi Indians and is a way to connect with their traditions and culture. In addition, the winter solstice has special significance to the Hopi, as it marks the time when the day begins to get longer and the sun returns more frequently, symbolizing rebirth and hope for the future. 
Thanks for watching.